In the last video, I showed you how to use some custom theme support to add this custom logo up here. And in this one, I want to show you how to use a filter to change the class that's displayed on here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you inspect this element, you notice that this A tag that's automatically outputted um, with the code that we added has this class custom logo link. So I'm using Bootstrap 4, which is currently an alpha. But if you go over to their documentation in the navbar section, components navbar, you can see that they have this brand, which is pretty much a logo in the navbar. And it, you can see that they have this class called navbar brand. Well, you know, I want to use that class because it has some styling on there that will, you know, align it perfectly with the other stuff that's going to be within the navbar. So I need a way to change this class out this custom logo link to use navbar brand. So what we can do is use a what's called a filter and it pretty much just allows you to change what WordPress is putting onto things at runtime. So we can change this class, you know, before it gets outputted. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We need to go in here into our theme files of course, and you can add this in the functions file. But I like to break things out. So I have this uh, INC file up here, and I have um, just like this extra. So just wherever you want to put it doesn't really matter. So but what we need to do is uh, create a function and then use uh, a filter. So let's go ahead and create a function. Wow, right off the bat. Function custom logo output. You can name this whatever you want. It's always good to uh, prefix it with whatever your theme name is or or any prefix that you use. Notice these have prefixes help, help WP, help WP. So what we're going to do now is grab the HTML out of there, out of this output. And open up this function. And then we're going to grab that HTML and then we're going to do a string replace. And you can see here if you have autocomplete on what you're searching for and what you want to replace it with. So what we want to searching for is we're searching for the custom dash logo dash link, which is, you know, this is what we're searching for custom logo dash link. And we want to replace it with navbar dash brand from Bootstrap. So right here, navbar dash brand, perfect. So then the subject is going to be this actual HTML right here. HTML. And then we want to return the HTML. And once we got that, now we just need to add our filter. Add underscore filter. And in here, this will be what we're trying to get at, which is um, this custom function, which is the get custom logo. Get custom logo. In the last video, we used uh, has custom logo, and then we used the custom logo to display it. And this is another thing that WordPress gives us, this get custom logo. So it's not something that I'm making up. It's just you got to know what WordPress gives you. All right, and then we want to change it. We want to use our function for it. And let's give it a 10. So if someone can come in behind us and you know make this number smaller and then their string replace would replace ours. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna put some spaces here to clean it up. Let's save that and refresh the page here. And then you'll see here that this navbar brand has now been replaced. So now I have the styling for that uh, bootstrap gives me on this logo. So the last thing I wanna do of course is just add a comment uh, to this area. It's always good practice just to if someone comes behind you looking over your code They can see what's happening here. Uh, this changes Changes the class on the custom logo in 
the header. Perfect. All right, so that video shows you how to change the class that the custom logo output gives us on the front end. Talk to you later.